Hello friends, welcome back. This is Our Unruly Nest. My name is Amber and you are in my kitchen. I mentioned on a vlog this morning that a mom tip that I have, at least for myself, I never cook dinner at dinner, ever. It's just too crazy here. My husband's getting home from work. My son's health stuff's usually pretty rough around that time in the afternoon. My daughter is trying to finish up her schoolwork for the day or we're, you know, racing her out to activities, whatever, whatever the reason. If your life is like that around dinner time in your house, I'm gonna show you the time here behind me. Let's see, 11.35, can you see it backwards? <laughs> It is 11.35 and I am going to do all of my dinner prep right now. All, all right, what we are cooking is we're gonna make taco meat. Oh, there are my hands. Taco meat in the crock pot. I'm gonna let the crock pot do the work for me. I mentioned I have an espresso maker. Yep, sure do. Coffee is life, friends. <laughs> Okay, so I have my frozen ground beef. I have my water. Beef broth is better if you have it. I'm just out. No, this video is not sponsored. Thrive Market does not know that I exist, but I live and die by Thrive Market, guys. I live in the middle of nowhere, and with all of our food stuff, no gluten, no dairy, no corn, uh, their ingredients are just fantastic. So I love, love, love their taco seasoning. All right. I'm going to get all this opened. Yes. Frozen. I'm going to put it in my crock pot and I'll be right back. Okay. I have got my frozen ground beef in my crock pot. As you can see, I have nothing else in there yet. Yes, you can do this frozen. So you just want to use less water because obviously the moisture out of the meat so you're not gonna need as much fluid. I like to do about half, halfway up the meat. And again, beef broth would be really good. So if you can kind of see about how much water I have in there, I take my taco seasoning. I'm gonna try to sprinkle it one packet kind of on the meat here because in about two hours, two to two and a half hours, I will get my meat chopper and I will grind this all up. Actually, I usually use one packet per pound. That actually looks pretty good, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it because we like it super flavorful. I'm gonna put some in the water here. And for right now, guys, that is it. Now I'm gonna put my lid on. If you have never made your taco meat in the crock pot from frozen, Awesome, okay, so now you can see me there in the reflection. We're gonna turn it on. I'm gonna turn it on high for probably two hours. I'm gonna set my timer here. Do you see my mess back there? <gasps> Mom life, guys, keeping it real. Um, I, apparently my new microwave, I can't do hours on the timer. My old one, I could, I've only had this one about a week. So I'm like, wait, what? So that's okay. So I have my crock pot set, I have it going. My daughter is downstairs working on her schoolwork and my son is watching a show currently, which you can probably hear in the background so that I can do dinner prep. And as soon as I'm done, then I'm gonna start on school with him. And then it'll be time for lunch. So I'm gonna show you real quick. While this is starting, I'm gonna start on just getting everything cut up and ready so that tonight, Literally, all we have to do is pull everything out, assemble dinner, and we eat. And that, my friends, is how I like my evening. All right, guys, and just like that, it is, let's see the time here, five till 12. My dinner prep is done. Again, this is not sponsored. We just love Thrive. We use it. I've got shells. Okay, fingers, Amber, fingers. Sorry, guys. I've got shells. I have tortilla chips. I have all the, you know, gluten-free, corn-free, dairy-free shells. Uh, the brand is Siete that uh, 
my daughter eats, we've got our refried beans, when it's time, I'm just literally gonna peel those open. There we go. I have my onions cut up, I have my tomatoes, my spinach, and my cheese. And as soon as the taco meat is done, we have dinner, healthy dinner, relatively, uh, on a busy night. And <laughs> the mess that is my kitchen, well, this will be cleaned here after lunch, and then I don't have a huge amount of dishes waiting for me this evening. So, all right, I'm gonna get this all put away, and then I'm gonna get to schoolwork with the kids. So, I'll be back soon. I will come back and show you when it is time, but this is what I use to grind it up in the crock pot. About two hours in is usually how long it takes, and that is when I will turn it down on low to finish cooking the rest of the way. Okay, guys, it has been about an hour and a half. See how it's already started to fall apart? I went ahead and I turned it down to low, and then I just use my handy dandy meat grinder. Yes, I have two. Uh, the first one that I showed you, I like a little bit better for the crock pot because it's a bit more rough. This is the one that I use in my skillets because it's a bit more rounded. But yeah, so I'm just gonna grind this all up, make sure it's all down in the mixture. I'm gonna put the lid back on and I'm gonna let it go on low until it's all cooked. Guys, that's it. That is it. Dinner served.